Hello guys and welcome back again in another requested video. This is the SR20DET replica. Uh, as you can see, this this replica, uh, I mean the original engine was in the 1995 up to 1999 Nissan Silvia S14. You know it, it's the legendary one. Everyone likes an SR engine and everyone loves an SR engine. Uh, I went I went with all the original factory specs. I hope I'm correct in everyone. If, if I'm not correct, please correct me in the comment section and please be gentle with me on, in the comment and don't eat my head if I made a mistake, okay? Thank you for watching, so much for watching and enjoy it. Let's start with it. We have an inline 4 engine with an aluminium block material, 86mm for the bore, 86mm for the stroke, which equals 1998cc engine. Right, and we have the head and valves are dual overhead camshafts with 4 valves per cylinder with aluminium head material and no VVL of course, cast iron crankshaft, cast, cast iron connecting rods and cast iron pistons with plus 2 quality. We have the compression ratio or the correct compression ratio for this family is 8.5 to 1, the cam profile is 44 which is cool for the street slash daily using engine. It's smooth and produce good power. Right, the variable valve timing for all cams, which is standard, and the quality is zero because no need for high quality. The turbocharger is a ball bearing, air to air, medium size inner cooler. Uh, the compressor size and the turbine size are factory size. I I, I got the correct sizes from Wikipedia. It has a 60 mm compressor and 62 mm turbine. The air ratio is 0.676, and the max boost in this engine, particular in this SR engine, the S14 has 14 psi. That what Wikipedia has said. To me. The quality is zero, and the injection is multi-point fuel injection with single throttle body. Performance intake manifold. Uh, I'm using 95 octane, so the engine will not explode in the game. But I think real life. I don't know in real life if the SR uses uh, 91 or 95, I'm not sure. The fuel mixture is 13.9, which, which is lean, which is lean, uh, and let's see, the ignition timing is 33, which is a bit retarded. The, the RPM limit is 7000, and the quality is zero. The exhaust diameter is 76.2, the catalytic converter is high, high, high flow 3-way for higher flow, straight through muffler and another straight through muffler for quieter and sportier sound zero quality again and this is the ending result 217 horsepower and 205 pound feet of torque which is the correct factory power and torque for the SR20 DET from 1995 up to 1999 S14 uh, Sylvia Let's see, we have a reliability of 71.3, which is really good for a sporty street engine. Uh, let's see, the fuel efficiency is good for a 1995 engine, and what else? The man hours is, is low, which is good that, that you can mass produce it easily. The engine is a bit lightweight, 132 kilograms, and the, uh, respon respons the res responsive is Response, uh, well, the throttle response is, is good for a street engine, especially the SR. The engine is, let's say, it's it's near 50%, so it's it's somehow smooth, somehow, not, not too much smooth, but it's awesome because everyone loves an SR engine. And don't don't kill me, guys, if you, if you tell me in the comment section, uh, why is it 2017, why is it 1995, because it's a replica. All replicas are made today. I'm not making a the original engine. This is a replica. Yes. Now let. Now you, you have seen the specs. You have uh, seen the, the power band here. As you can see, it starts low and then the boost hits up here. And this is the optimum or the max torque here, 205. And then the power will start climbing, climbing, and the torque will start dying. As you can see, the engine is looking very, very, very good. And look at the turbo and the intake manifold and the throttle body and the inner cooler. Awesome. Now let's hear it, guys.
have seen it, you have heard it, and you have enjoyed seeing the, pist the pistons going up and down and making power and torque. And you have also enjoyed seeing this beautiful turbo spinning and making a boost. So I hope you, get, I hope you, you guys really, really enjoyed this video. I mean, the, the SR engines are really, really awesome, and every tu every tuner loves to to put his hands on an SR engine or an RV engine because these are the dreams engine. Let's see. Uh, I have a point to make, which is why the SR is a tuner friendly. As you can see here, all the specs are factory specs. So as you can see here, the intake is 91. As you can see, there, there, there is a restriction of air here. And the inner cooler also makes a bit of restriction of air. The turbine also and the exhaust also. So as you can see, you can see what's the point here. Uh, why is this engine is tuner friendly? Because as you can see, the intake is, uh, is, restriction, is re restricting some air. So uh, a tuner can replace the intake manifold and the throttle bodies for high flow ones. And the inner cooler also, you can put a bigger inner cooler and you can enjoy better boost and better uh, thermal eff efficiency. Also the turbine of the engine, I mean, this turbo is good, but um, it's not really that good. I mean, tuners can replace the turbo for a bigger one or a high efficiency one or a high heavy, heavy duty one that can really serve for a longer, longer time. And the exhaust also, I mean, the exhaust is a, has a good airflow, but it's not a perfect airflow. I mean, you can replace some parts of it or make it a little bit bigger and you, you can have a better power and better torque results. Also, as you can see here, the ignition timing is a bit low. I mean, uh, if this was a tuner and uh, if he can use a 98 octane fuel, he can push the ignition timing and he can maybe put more boost in the engine with the, with the bigger intercooler and uh, better intake uh, manifold or, and the throttle bodies and better fuel injectors. I mean, this engine can make a ton of more power, but this is the factory specs. This is a factory replica. So I hope you really, you really guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, please hit, hit that like button. And uh, if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to enjoy more cool videos like this one. Uh, remember, guys, if, I, if any if any video I made a mistake or any replica, uh, if I made a replica and there was a mistake in the specs of it, please tell me in the comment section in in a ma in a gently manner way. Don't chew my head or kill me in the comment section and scream in my face that I made a mistake. Be gentle. We are gentlemen. We love cars. We love engines. So tell me if I made a mistake and, may and maybe I can correct it in another video. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in another video and bye bye.